Hey everybody, this is Alyssa with Twin Cup Tarot, and I have another pick a card reading here for you today. And the question is, when will I meet my romantic soulmate? I think this reading will be a lot of fun, guys, but keep in mind that energy is fluid, time is an illusion, roles can be reversed, and this may not be your story. And that's okay. There's so many amazing readers out there. One of them will resonate with you. And just something to keep in mind when we're talking about timelines. Everybody is on their own timeline. So more than me telling you that this is going to be a month from now, two months from now, three months from now, I'm more going to be trying to tap into the energy of what you can expect around that time period what signs you may see, what synchronicities, if I see any, come up in this reading. You know, things that are going to tell you this person's coming in, maybe attributes about this person to help you narrow it down. But certainly, if I see an actual timeline in terms of, you know, weeks, months, years, I'll tell you what I see, but it's mostly about the energy because this is general, honeybees. All right, guys, so we have three piles here we're working with. Pile number one, the dog. Pile number two, the tiger. And pile number three, personal choice. As usual, timestamps will be in the description and I'll give you guys a few moments to decide which pile you feel most drawn to. See you there. Hello my pile one people, or those of you that picked the dog, this is your reading. Okay guys, so first of all, this person is absolutely incredible. With the dog energy, I get someone who is extremely loyal, extremely loving. They're, they're kind of a natural protector of the ones around them and they even do it at the expense of themselves. They're loyal to a fault. You know, they really... You know, immediately when I saw this pile, when I laid it out, my, the first thought that came into my head was that this might be your best friend. This person might actually be one of your best friends before you actually get together. <laughs> wow, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of, immediately when I laid out this pile, it kind of felt like a movie playing out. You know, like a really fun romantic comedy movie where you know you have two best friends they do everything together you know they are attracted to each other but neither one of them is actually admitting it to each other or themselves kind of ignorant of the feelings they have for each other not paying attention and then all of a sudden you know one person is in a relationship with somebody else and then the other party they're like what what why do you like this person? Why do you like this person? Why aren't you spending as much time with me? And then all these, all of a sudden these feelings erupt and there's, there's emotions displayed and <laughs> I, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> it's so, so that's so specific. That's probably not going to be for all of you at all, but I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, this is, um, obviously this is a timeless reading, but currently when I'm videotaping this video, it's the day after Valentine's Day, so there's still that kind of lovey, uh, romance vibe in the air, you know, so <laughs> it's just very funny to me, but it's, if this is your story, I love it. If this is your story, it's incredible, because this is someone you might know for a long time, and then all of a sudden find out that they've been right there the entire time under your nose and you had no idea. But what's what's great about that is you've had this person in your life. They've enriched your life. They've made your life more beautiful. Um, they've been there for you. You've enjoyed, you've basically been, this person has basically been your partner all along. Just nothing um, of a romantic nature actually happened yet. <laughs> like I said, I can't, okay. I can't stop giggling in this. This, <laughs> you know, honestly, this is, it just feels like that dreamy romance, that youthful romance that's just exciting and unexpected. And um, with this Chiron energy, sorry, I'm going to try to be a little more serious. I just love the energy. Um, the Chiron card here talks about a healer. 
okay? Someone who heals others at the expense of themselves, and they do it without expecting anything in return. They're very empathic. They really, they truly have this really high capacity to love, which really goes along with the dog card there. So this could be a doctor, they could be a nurse, they could work in the medical field, they could be some kind of law enforcement officer, they could be in the military. I just, I get the feeling of, Either they're healing people's body or they're healing their mind or healing their spirit. So it also could be a psychiatrist. Um, I just get healing over and over again. Healing. That's just a huge theme in their life. But the ironic part about this. So the story of Chiron is that he would, you know, his whole life he basically healed people and was there for other people and was in service to other people in a positive and loving way but he actually was killed by a stray poison arrow which is ironic because for all the healing he did for other people he couldn't heal himself so i get with this person that they have a lot of um emotional wounds uh, maybe trauma from their past um it could be you know, they have a lot of pain from past relationships. But either way, you know, as much of a healing force as they are for others, they have a hard time healing the wounds within themselves. And that's one thing that I think is going to be apparent about this person. One clue on who they are. But like I said, guys, let me fix something on my camera here. Just one sec, guys. There we go. Um, but like I said, I get... I get a huge feeling that this is going to be a friend, okay? Um, with this message of concern, well, actually the card is just concern, but I said message of concern. Um, so with that, it's very possible that this person, you know, really makes their feelings known and discovers their feelings when they find out you're dating somebody else or that you're interested in somebody else. With this concern card, I basically see someone, you know, basically just going, what? Fretting about what you're doing, fretting about your feelings about someone else, fretting about the outcome here. And it's really gonna, they're gonna feel forced to come to you and express this emotion. Gosh, guys, I seriously love this. Um, in terms of time periods, so first of all, I get that this is going to be a time period that you start really opening yourself up. You might kind of have a little bit of um, a moment of clarity or an epiphany, and you start to love yourself a bit more. You start to feel more confident in yourself, you know, and you start to exude confidence more than you ever have before. It's kind of one of those adult turning points where you go, why was I so worried about what other people thought about me. Why did I not put more effort into my own care? Why did I care so much about, you know, pleasing others? And that's going to really come across to others, that energy shift. Your, your vibration is going to raise and other people are going to notice it immediately. So what I'm getting with this is this is going to happen in a, in a time in your life where you're feeling great, you're feeling amazing, you're feeling alive. And this person, when they come in, it just, it's basically the cherry, the hot fudge, all the goodness on top of the Sunday, the Sunday to top it off. Like it's, it's basically, I can't even, <laughs> I know I've already said, I can't even, this is just so amazing. Pile one. I want this pile. Jeez. Um, some other things I heard is that this could actually be in the late fall, um, possibly early, early winter. So I'm seeing that this actually could happen in like somewhere. I'm getting October or November of a year. Uh, very possibly, you know, if we're looking at numerology here, we have two, eight, and four. When I think of two, eight, and four, I think of stability, balance, you know, um, learning, 
but when I think of those numbers, I also think of pentacles. Pentacles is a very slow energy, but it also talks about kind of autumn time. So once again, I'm getting that October, November, could be September. So mostly just fall, I guess, is is where I'm getting here. In terms of like when it when it'll happen based on now to then, I think that story is going to be different for all of you because really, like I said, I think that epiphany has to happen. That moment of clarity of, wow, I am an incredible person. Wow, I have so much to offer. I'm beautiful. I'm handsome. I'm sexy. I'm intelligent. I'm funny. I'm stable. You know, I have so much going for me. Any person would be lucky to have me. You know, it, like I said, during this time period, you're your vibration raises and you start to you start to love yourself more and in that way you start seeing your world with love and that starts attracting more love and then you'll see all these blessings come in and honestly I almost see this as kind of a miracle scenario <laughs> you know like I said this best friend the person who you love spending every second with okay I really feel that that's going to be the person you're looking for. Wow, guys. So that was my pile one, people. I hope every pile is as awesome as this one because that was incredible. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below and let me know if this resonates with you. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Hello, my pile two people, or those of you that picked the tiger. This is your reading. Okay, guys immediately I laid out these cards passionate energy passionate intense deep energy and that kind of goes with the tiger anyway but with this Capricorn right next to it so the thing about a Capricorn is you know in the business world they definitely are the go-getters they are the bosses the managers um, the people who strive for higher peaks at all times okay and not only do they strive for the highest peaks but they always get there eventually you know the way they kind of see it is if there's a job to be done it's worth doing it well if the job's worth doing it at all so they basically they have the patience when it comes to career okay but what I'm getting about this person and which is very very typical of a Capricorn is they have an extremely sexual, passionate um, energy. I was trying to figure out the best way to put this. Um, Capricorns are a bit randy. Okay, <laughs> that's that's the general energy for Capricorns. Not always, but most of the time. And that's pretty much what I'm getting here. Is This is going to be someone that when you meet them outwardly in front of other people, they're very put together, very... They might not, they might be very professional, not very expressive. Um, they might even seem a little bland in how they they talk to people, but there's there's going to be an aura of of just intensity about them. When they look at you, it's going to be like they're looking through you. Okay, not just looking into your soul. They're looking all the way through you is pretty much what I'm seeing, okay? Um, this is going to be someone who is the ultimate observer, okay? But when you actually get to know this per person, okay, and who they actually are, you're going to be shocked at how intense they are, how passionate they are, how sexual they are. I just get an extremely intense energy here. One thing that I think is very interesting here is you might meet them in the workplace, first of all, okay? I, I, I get a lot of kind of work energy here. I think when you see them, you're going to find them very attractive, okay? Um, you're going to find them very attractive. They're going to have that intense energy, but they're not going to seem very approachable at all, okay? Definitely not approachable. And even though they have that intense stare that seems to look through you, you're going to feel like they aren't interested in you at all. 
okay? And you might even see them with other people, and it bothers you because I think you have a crush on this person when you meet them, or at least an attraction to this person. Um, and then, out of the blue, it's going to feel like out of nowhere, this person is going to come to you and make their feelings, their attraction, very clear. I don't think they're going to come to you and profess their love. I think they're going to come to you and profess their attraction. It's going to be very direct. It's going to tell you exactly what they want to do, you know, <laughs> and the next step they want to take with you, okay? But I get that this person is not, um, it's going to take a little while before, you know, expressions of love come out of them. But the attraction part, yeah, and they're going to, th it's it's basically going to throw you off guard a bit. You're not going to expect this, and it's just going to happen. This person, they have no fear, is pretty much what I'm getting here. They have no fear about expressing their desires. They have no fear about expressing their wants, their interests. You know, when, like I said, Capricorn energy, they want something, they go for it, and they plan to achieve it. So, this, you might, um... When this person comes to you and they express their attraction, you might, like I said, you're going to be thrown off guard. So you might pull back a bit, not quite believing that they really mean it, maybe not believing in their intentions, you know, and kind of just doubting the whole scenario. <laughs> or you might just be a little bit, like I said, this person's extremely intense, so you might feel a little bit intimidated by this person as well. Um, so this person, though, they're going to chase you. That's what I'm getting, is they're going to chase you, and you're going to enjoy it, okay? It's going to be, it, it's going to throw you out of your comfort zone a little bit, because this person's going to push the envelope, but... I think you're going to truly enjoy it. And when this person gets you, because I am seeing that this is your romantic partner that you're going to end up with, um, when this person gets you, you're going to be amazed at the passion they display. You're going to be amazed at the amount of sexuality they display. Okay? Um, definitely appreciate um, the effort they put in when they start expressing their love. Because I get this... I get that this is someone who doesn't do that often, okay? I'm getting that this is someone who does not say they love someone unless they truly, truly mean it, okay? And that doesn't come often for them. They might get in, you know, I get that this person might have been in a lot of relationships in the past because they they are very attractive, they have that intense energy, but I get majority of the people they dated in the past it was all about the attraction and not about true substance. That's what I'm getting. Or it was simply someone who they felt would follow their career path, follow them as a partner and almost in like a, it just feels like a power couple vibe. So this person might have dated, you know, people in the past who just kind of flowed well with their work life, which is very interesting in terms of time periods. So with this full moon in Leo and this full moon in Virgo right there, that's August and September. So I see that you're going to be meeting this person um, in August or September. Now, in terms of whether it's this year, um, it's possible. It's very, very possible. Um, in terms of what's going on in your life at the time, I'm getting that um, with this message of concern, it seems to me that this is a time period where you do receive some bad news, okay? This could be bad news in career, could be bad news in family life, bad news about a friend. I'm not sure what the bad news is, is in relation to because this is a general reading. But I'm getting that you receive bad news. You are going through a difficult time in your life emotionally. And then this person, you know, I think you've met them at this point. But when they come towards you with this offer that throws you off balance, the timing is what throws you off too. 
okay? Because you're going through something difficult, you're feeling emotionally unstable, you're grieving, possibly, and then this person comes at you and you're like, wow, wait, wait, what? What? No way, this this is too good to be true. You're you're too good to be true. This there's no way. What 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 who are you? Like you you obviously there's gotta be something wrong with you, right? You're attractive, you have a great career, you seem stable and balanced, a little I mean, intense, a little bit unapproachable, but otherwise, you know, pretty much perfect. What's wrong with you? Are you a serial? killer like what? you're gonna have these thoughts I think or you're gonna think um are you gonna eat me for breakfast you know you're gonna have these thoughts and that's gonna cause you to pull back but this person's gonna chase you that's what I'm getting in terms of that um I'm having a hard time locking down whether or not it's gonna be September or August of this year or a year after this I'm not really getting a clear answer on that. I got to be honest. I'm not getting a clear answer. I want to say it's this year. Some of you, it will be. Some of you, it won't be. Actually, many of you, it won't be this year. Some of you, it will be. All I'm getting is September and August and the general energy around the scenario. It's someone that you are attracted to. You think they would never be interested in you. You're going through a lot in your life at the time you get some bad news. I also get that a lot of you might have recently experienced a breakup right before this person, okay? And you're still um, holding on to that relationship a bit. Even if you were the one who broke up with the other person, um, it was painful, a painful breakup. It was uncomfortable. Um, and you were still kind of holding on to the pain or anger or betrayal that you felt from the past relationship. So I do see that this comes in after a relationship is let go of. But what I'm seeing is that's the, actually I think that's the key here, guys. So if you are in a relationship um, that has been toxic, you feel unfulfilled, it's just not very healthy. Um, and you know, I, I'm not telling you anything new if this is the case. This is someone that you know you're not happy with, but you're not letting go of it for whatever reason. I'm getting that this person that we're talking about right now, this, this romantic partner, will come in as soon as this toxic, unhealthy relationship ends. Okay? With this message of concern, it could be, you know, that could be the breakup. It could be a breakup through text. could be a breakup over the phone. Actually, that's very possible. Or um, the person could just drop off the radar and radar, <laughs> drop off the radar and ghost ya, or you could ghost them. But either way, I see that this romantic soulmate, this how do I how do I uh, this this tiger, um, I see him coming in after you end a toxic relationship. All right, guys, that was interesting. Um, Mercury Mercury retrograde is kicking my butt. It is hard to get out anything I'm trying to say. So I hope this pile made sense to you guys. So please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below and let me know if this resonates with you. I love you so much. Have a wonderful day. Hello, my pile of three people, or those of you that picked personal choice. This is your reading. Okay, this is probably one of the most interesting spreads that I've ever had. Well, I don't know about that, but still, it's pretty darn interesting. So, first of all, with the personal choice here, then with having the mutable moon right next to it, and the new moon in Libra, which talks about balance and choices, okay, really weighing your options here, I'm getting, so I've always been of the opinion that you have more than one possible soulmate in your life romantically. Um, the way that you find a specific romantic soulmate is based off the path you choose in life. Because each one of us chooses our path in terms of how we live our life, what career we go for, what we do for a living, how we how we play a role in other people's lives, you know, that kind of thing. And with this, this is literally saying that a lot of you are going through a time of transformation, okay? 
where you haven't decided what path you want to walk yet. It could be you haven't decided on your career path. You haven't decided on your purpose or what you want your purpose to be. A lot of you might be considering doing something very, very exciting and new and unique, going on adventures, doing something that's definitely not the standard nine to five when it comes to careers. You know, and a lot of you might just be free spirits in general. You don't like to be tied down. What this is saying is that your romantic soulmate, quotation mark, that you're going to end up with hasn't been decided yet because you haven't decided your path yet. Now, that is so interesting, guys. But what I'm seeing is that it's all up to you. You have the power in this situation who you want your romantic partner to be, okay? With this sudden wealth, it's telling me that once you make your decision and you set sail for your destination, you're going to win the lottery either way. That's pretty much what I'm getting is that if you make a decision on a, a path, and you you literally commit to that path, commit to that journey. And you, Aries energy is an incredible energy to tap into when you want to uh, be motivated to go after a goal, okay? When you want to actually hit the pavement and start running towards what you want. That's an amazing energy to tap into. And I think this is saying that you want to get into that energy so that you can really make a decision and just go, okay? And once you do that, once you make the decision and you actually start running that cycle, this person's going to basically drop out of the sky, okay? <laughs> With that lottery, I just see, I, I almost see light, I see lightning striking, okay? And... It's going to be that one in a million type situations where you're going to be like, how did I meet you? It's going to be the most interesting meeting is, is what I'm getting. It's going to be so random and it's going to be, okay, once again, it kind of reminds me of pile one a little bit, not in the same, it's not the same message in each pile at all, but like in pile one, I was seeing kind of a movie-like scenario. And for the pile three people, I'm seeing that too. It's going to be very surreal, okay? It's going to be very surreal. It's going to be serendipity is what I'm kidding. You know, you're going to be... Okay, here's here's a scenario that I just, just pulled out of the air, okay? Let's say you decide that you are going to travel the world. Okay, and you're going to be a photographer and you're going to sell your photos to um, global uh, magazines and um, news stations. Okay, and you're just going to use that money to get you to the next place so you can constantly, you know, drift and explore and have all these amazing opportunities. Okay, let's say you are in Italy. Okay, let's just say you're in Italy and you're taking a beautiful picture and all of a sudden this person runs by, grabs your camera and takes off with it. You run after this person trying to get your camera back and then your romantic soulmate basically tackles this, this thief to the ground, grabs the camera and goes, is this your camera? regardless of gender, you know, <laughs> regardless of gender here, guys, I'm seeing it's going to be something like that. Like, I'm not saying your camera's going to be still, I'm not going to say you're going to be in Italy, you know, taking photographs. You could be, I hope you are in Italy when this happens, that would be wonderful or somewhere gorgeous, but I'm seeing something crazy like that playing out like a movie. You almost like, I think it's one of those stories you're going to tell your children and no one's going to believe you. No one's going to believe you. They're going to think you made it up just to make your meeting sound exciting. But joke's on them because this happens, honeybees. You know, whatever this exciting meeting is, that's what I'm getting. And that's, that's so, 
That's so, oh my gosh, pretty much every pile that I have done today, I've wanted each pile. But I really want this pile too. <laughs> like it's just amazing. It's just the most surreal feeling that I'm getting right now where you'll meet this person and you'll, so let's, let's go back to this scenario. They hand you the camera and say, is this your camera? And you say, oh my gosh, thank you so much. That camera is my life. It's my livelihood. It's how I go from place to place. You know, I, I can't imagine this camera was perfect. Thank you so much. Can I buy you lunch to show you, to say thank you? And you go out to lunch and it's, everything just falls into place with this person. This person is on the same path as you in terms of their energy. They want the same things as you. Your life paths just co basically just completely fall together, okay? And you guys are inseparable from then on is pretty much what I'm getting. And that's just, oh my gosh, guys. And if, here's the other thing I just got, let's, and I'm just throwing all these scenarios out because I'm just getting so many messages with this pile, but let's say this all happens and then at the end of the lunch, you know, both of you, neither one of you want to say goodbye, but you say, well, you know, it's nice meeting you, take care, you know, have a great life, okay? And then all of a sudden, you know, you move on and let's say you're in Greece now and you're taking pictures, you get on a train and the person you're sitting next to on the train, the one, the seat that you were assigned on your ticket, guess who it's next to? You know, that's what I'm getting is that once you decide on your path, the universe is going to put this person directly in your line of sight. And if you try to walk away because you don't think this is the person, the universe is going to put them right back in your sight. That's what I'm getting. So pretty much, I don't think you guys have to worry about when this person is going to come in. It's more about deciding what you want your life to look like. And if you guys, I strongly get that you guys are really contemplating whether or not it would be worth taking a risk and doing something, you know, unusual, something that other people might not agree with, but you know is but you know that this path is going to make you the happiest. It's going to make you feel fulfilled. It's going to make you feel alive. You're going to feel passionate. My advice, honeybees, do it. Okay? My advice, go after your dreams. Take that leap of faith. Trust that things will be okay. Because they will. Okay? And once you can do that, this person is going to be pushed into your path. Okay? That's pretty much what I'm getting. But it's up in the air right now because you haven't decided on your path yet. At least that's the majority of you. So I hope that helped, guys. That was so interesting. I was not expecting that answer at all. I was not expecting that. So I hope you liked it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And comment down below and let me know if this resonated with you. I love you so much. Have a wonderful day.